Hello everybody, this is Daniel here. So guys, for today we are going to know how to do the gusting effect on our character. Uh, by the way, if you don't know what gusting effect is, let me just go here to a cleaner area. Uh, gust gusting effect it will be the sprites that are following your player. Basically, it will be those uh, sprites that are appearing and disappearing when your player moves. It's like the um, almost like a trail, but in our case, it will be a gusting effect in, in, instead of trailing effect. So, uh, by the way, this is my uh, current game that I'm working on: is the uh, Mr. Pudding and the Fork uh, King. Um, still in its very early stages because I'm doing only as a part time uh, after my nine to five job. So still a lot of stuff uh, to do on it but already has some cool stuff uh, so let's get back to our uh, gusting effect and first thing first we are going to create it's a sprite that will be uh, our ghost so let's just add here a sprite 2d and on our sprite i will add our uh, go dot icon and let me just change the name for ghost and our sprite to do we are going to head a script we'll call it ghost uh, we don't need to use the process in here and here we are going to create two um, new functions one it's to set the properties of the scale and the position of our uh, ghost that we are going to set when we are when we will code our player we will need to have that uh, set property to set the position and the scale uh, of this ghost and the second one it's to create the twins uh, of our uh, ghost basically it's to create the the other uh, sprites that you saw that uh, following path of sprites uh, and we need to cre to create that using the create twin and the twin properties uh, so no more things to say let's just code so first thing first set property and we I'm going to name the parameters here as player pause because it will be the player position and player scale this way you will you understand that the um, are the the parameters that we are going to pass uh, from our player when we call this function on the player code okay so we are going to say that the position of our sprite it will be equal to the player position and the scale it will be equal to the player scale let me just give you a little bit of space now let's go and create our gusting function okay i will call it gusting and here we are going to create a variable called twin because it will represent our the twin that we are going to create so for this we need to do the get tree and after that the create twin so it will be um, get tree dot create twin and uh, on our twin we need to set the properties for it so it will it will be twin dot uh, twin uh, property a and here we need to pass the uh, object that we are need to be the property of our twin uh, we need to pass the modulate but in our case it will be self modulate and it only modulate our uh, ghost and not uh, it's is child's and in fact it doesn't have any child so uh, and we need to pass the color and the duration of this animation okay or this uh, fade animation that we are going to to create so the first property will be self because it's our own sprite uh, as mentioned here it will be self modulate uh, here in our case it will be the color because we need to pass to uh, fade away 
and the duration in this case it will be 0 0.75 uh, but you can play with this uh, duration and color to uh, as much as you want and you need for your game okay so what we need now it's to check uh, if our uh, and fade uh, as finished so here we are going to say await and it will be twin dot finished only after this await uh, it's true after finished we will be able to queue free queue free meaning we are going to remove our uh, sprite or our ghost from the scene okay so basically we need to create the twin for this ghost we set the property of that twin with a duration for the fade when only the fade uh, finished it will remove it from scene okay so the ghost part is uh, done let me just save it here okay now we need to create our character that we are going to use to test this so here we are going to call the character body 2d I already have it here um, I will just add a simple collision nothing fancy just to have it there I will add a sprite as well and the sprite it will be our go dot icon as well as you guys can see I will just scale it uh, a little bit dot 5 let me just group this you go to the middle okay and now we are going to create our uh, character body uh, script okay uh, as, as you know when we create the character body script it already has the um, gravity and some movements I will just remove the um, jump and the gravity because we don't need it here it's just to to see uh, when it moves uh, if the ghost is following him or not so at least for here we don't need it uh, one thing that we need is to uh, on ready uh, no it's not on ready man okay let me just do another thing okay uh, let me just check if the export will work because sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work uh, var and it will be our ghost uh, node and it will be a packet scene okay okay you have it here the uh, the this uh, variable and then we can uh, export it to here if in the case that um, export doesn't work you can use the preload uh, I will grab here a code that I already have you can use something like this as an example okay you can do a variable uh, um, the name of the variable and the preload and you can grab the scene like this okay in my case and just to be easier I will export and grab and drag the scene to the variable and now we can work uh, with it okay so for our uh, player we are going to need uh, one function uh, and it's the function to add our ghost uh, or to instantiate our ghost one thing that I'm forgetting to add to our character is a timer because we need to use this timer to add a ghost ever every few uh, seconds or milliseconds depending on what you need okay so the timer we need I already had it we need to go to our nodes and the timeout okay it will be the timeout for our character body and here we are going to call the function to add the ghost I will call it add ghost this can be removed don't worry it's will remove the error after I create the function so ghost pass let me just add the pass just to fix the issue okay so here on our uh, add ghost uh, we are going to instantiate our ghost uh, node so for that we need to create a variable called ghost 
that will uh, get our ghost node that we export uh, dot instantiate okay this will say that this node uh, needs to show on the world on our scene and now we are going to say our ghost uh, dot set uh, property property uh, this is the um, this uh, set property here the function that we created so we can call it now and we are going to say that is a position of our uh, damn it position of our player with the scale in this case it will be sprite 2 d dot scale okay because we have the sprite and the sprite is uh, what we had scaled before so in this case the position is the position of the character body 2 d and the scale in our case which will be the the scale of the sprite 2 d okay so now with what we need to to do we already instantiated we need to add this child to the tree so uh, to the world that we are uh, playing our game sort of saying our level whatever you want to call it so it's get tree dot current scene because it's to head on the, on the current scene that we are and add child and it will be ghost okay and basically that's it uh, let me just Damn it! <laughs> make a small modification on our timer here on our timer when you go to our inspector we have this wait time we can play it play around and check what is the best uh, time for you to add the ghost uh, on our uh, player one thing I have to do is uh, on visibility Visibility, yeah, it's here on visibility, and just show behind parent. Okay, it will be easier to show your um, ghost behind the our character uh, body. So let me just save this. I will click quickly create a world here. I will call it world, world, and in our world we are going to add our character body and I think I'm not missing s nothing so let's see if it is working if not we are going to try to debug it and see what is missing okay so let's start yes yeah, select current okay mm, okay I probably missed something let me let us uh, check what the, what we have missed on our uh, script so let me just check here on my side ah, I already know I already know it's uh, it's easy to fix on our timer at least on this case uh, we need to have the auto start uh, you can play with this uh, on your code you can add the auto start However, you, for example, you can do something uh, like uh, this. If not auto start, then auto start true. However, you have, this is, I'm using this mainly to confirm that it's uh, auto started. But to start, to really start you, in our case, I'm calling timer on the other project. So you need to do the timer dot start only with the timer dot start your uh, timer we will really uh, start okay so for this case we don't need it so it's auto start saved and let's see and as you can see it's um, working however with a few bugs so let's go to our ghost uh, okay Okay, self, one thing we need to do is here the modulate and it's going to be on this one. Let me just see on the 2D, okay. 
me grab this. Okay, a little bit of this. And let me just check with Avant. Oh, yeah, we forgot another thing. <laughs> uh, it's on our ghost. And we need to pass this ghosting on our ready function. Okay, because when we instantiate, it will, when it's ready, we call this and then this will work correctly. Okay, so let's try it one more time. And as you can see, our ghosting is working. As, as I said, you can work with the parameters here and try to do it uh, the way you want it. If you want to be quicker or not. Okay, let me just, for example, heading a second here. I think it will say, man, that's too much now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, one second, for example. As you can see, it only appears once in a while. If you add this you know, for dot two seconds, I believe it will be faster. I think I have on Mr. Pudding, I think it's one, zero point, 15 something like that so as you guys can see you already have your ghosting for example I will uh, implement a little bit of speed on our character for example uh, 500 and uh, we are going to check it again and as you can see you are faster than the ghost itself and the ghost takes uh, approximately 0 0.2 seconds to to add a new ghost to your scene so it gives the effect that you are accelerating a lot and that's what I had similar of what I have in the Mr. Padding game so as you guys could see we have a few bugs but was simple to fix um, and that's it for today's video by the way if you guys are interested in some assets I have it here on my itch.io three assets for you to play around one is a zombie castle asset you have I think it's one zombie and two characters and some other objects for the game uh, in the track I think it's if I'm not wrong I think it's around 10 cars something like that or less I don't remember but I think the max will be 10 cars and you have 3 tracks to play around and of course here on our weapon asset packs you guys have uh, if I'm not wrong uh, 24 guns to play around so enjoy these they are free to, to for everyone so you have the assets uh, the A sprite files there if you wanted to change uh, any anything on both of them so so guys for today uh, that's it hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video uh, I will try to come up with something new for the next videos and I already know what I will bring to the table so hope you guys enjoyed you already know what to do subscribe like hit the bell button for new videos uh, if you guys are interested you can join the discord um, and that's it for today guys that's it hope you guys enjoyed and see you on the next video so bye bye